Hello everyone and welcome back to me doing Vox Edit on a Tuesday. How are we all doing? Hope we're all good. Happy Tuesday to you guys. I've also got to like, forgot to cover up like half of the stuff that I've created that you guys aren't allowed to see. So I've got to open up a bunch of stuff to push them out. So don't look. Don't look at anything. You're not allowed to see anything. Don't be naughty, don't look. Um, I'm literally just grabbing any right now. I can't even remember what we're meant to be creating today, if I'm being completely honest. I feel like this is this is like a really big theme. Like I just kind of forget what I say I'm gonna make. All right, there we go. Right. That's absolutely perfect. How how are we all doing? Let's do like the talky talky section of the stream and we'll answer your questions before we get into the making of things and i can even get uh my little is that here we go my little list um what were we doing did i finish the throne did you guys get to see uh kozel am i saying your name right kozel cozy cozy hi i'm good I do want to just say, just so we we try and not um, have the stream actually go wrong today. So sometimes my computer's been a big pain in the ass the last couple of weeks. I had a good sort of three, four days with no issues. And then it started doing the issues again the other day. So hopefully we don't get blue screen of death. If I randomly just go offline without doing like the whole goodbye thing that, you know, usually signals the end um i'll be back in like two to three minutes really really quick to get everything back up and running but if i disappear just wait and then i'll be back i promise uh what will we see today i don't know i'm trying to think about what i need to make oh we were doing the fireplace right there we go the fireplace right i remember that now right open uh i think we put it in random items fireplace beautiful and i think we were going to do the animations as well on this so i'm really happy is there a giveaway for this uh then maybe i haven't decided yes or no yet we'll see how it goes we'll see how the stream goes and i'll decide based off of you know how kind i feel today maybe i'll fight, feel extra kind especially if i don't get blue screen of death if i don't get the blue screen of death i'm gonna be feeling pretty generous um hey sage mr winning mr winning right you are on my list from the previous winners you didn't win the last giveaway i did you won the giveaway before so it's very likely your asset isn't going to be sent this side of christmas just from the ones that i've sent today your name was like right at the bottom right near the bottom of my list so i like to try and send them in as big of a bulk as possible and i didn't realize i actually had people in um at the end of october that still i that still hadn't had any sense so i've done like all of the october people and i think like the start of november so yeah You will get it though. Everybody who wins, your names get put down on a, a spreadsheet and uh, you get marked as it not being sent. So I know that I need to send it. So don't worry, you will receive it. And there's plenty of them. You don't need to worry that they're gonna just run out. They're not gonna run out. I've got plenty. Um... Hey, Bourbon. Oh. Do you like bourbon as in bourbon biscuits or bourbon as in like... Oh no, that's bourbon, isn't it? Fucking hell. It's not even spelt the same, is it? Or is it? I don't know. What is wrong with me? But anyway, we're going to do this. Did I put in the smoke? Oh, we do have the smoke behind it. Perfect. Now, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Maybe we want to put something up on the top here. But yeah, everybody gets 
everybody that wins one will get one. But yeah, a nice, a nice uh, bourbon, Vicky. But yeah, a bourbon cream. Anyway, we're gonna do we're gonna do the fire. So I'm going to rename and call this Idle Fire O One. And then new, which is just going to be idle O one. That's going to have no flames. Um, and then fire on O one. And I'm tempted to do a different version of these fish that make them look a little bit more crispy. What do we think? Hey, Bastian, how you doing? Hey, from India. Hello to you all the way in India. Usually follow your amazing content, but never participated in the chat. Welcome. I appreciate you participating in the lovely chat. Last one looks like Magic Carp. <laughs> it does a bit, doesn't it? Oh, poor Magic Carp. You guys can't hear my music, right? Like, it's just my voice you guys can hear. Please say yes. More crispy. You guys want crispy? I will give you a crispy. Okay, so crispy. Crispy fish. Do we think, because this one's already like a little bit browned, should should I do this a bit lighter and we can make this like the crispy version? I think I'm going to make that like the crispy version. Uh, in which case, I'm going to delete this one and go and call this uh, fish. Green. It's going to be a green fish. Where are you? So yeah, we're going to just recolor this one. Actually, did I change how this one looked at all? No, it's like exactly the same, just recolored. Wanted to check. So I think we're just going to make it like a dark green. That yeah, I quite like that. We're going to make oops, blacks the eyes. Let's give it like a, really, yeah, like a magic carp mouth, kind of. And then the tails can have sort of like an alien-esque quality to them with the with the darkness. And we'll just give it like a few little, few spots. Make it a little, little different. Uh, making your portfolio in ArtStation, awesome. Looks fresh. Thanks, it's like my hair, my hair looks awful really on the green screen in real life. It looks, looks pretty nice, but with like, I've had to change like the hue and the saturation and all that stuff. So like you can tell a little bit, like my hair's like a little bit invisible at the front because that's where it's like the lightest green. If I lift it up, like, you really see where my hair's green there. It looks like kind of like bluey turquoise. Uh, shopping channel. Hey, how you doing? Did you manage to get into um Miranda's? Well, where wherever you're at in the metaverse. Hey, hey, appreciate you using my thing. Wherever. See, I've changed that. It used to just be I'd never used to add like the metaverse bit. I really feel like the metaverse just really solidifies that I'm on. A, I'm I'm in the blockchain, guys. We're we're in there. Green. So you're getting green. <laughs> Getting the green light on my face. Yeah, the green off of the fish isn't uh, doing anything for me, but yeah. Would you be able to check your portfolio? Perhaps give feedback if I send it over to Sandbox. I don't look at those, sorry. I'm not in charge of the portfolio. And from what I've heard, they are closing the applications for a month because they're getting a lot of applications. Um, but I'd be happy to have a little look at your stuff if you want to send it. For me to have a look over um I mean like tw uh twitch twitter i mean over twitter not twitch uh okay i'm not keen on the purple and the purple makes it look a bit weird let's go for like a lighter purple nope that's a little bit better maybe just slightly darker yeah okay i like that one a bit more I uh, did, but needed to sort your control pad. Trying to get back in now. Ooh, that's got not got to be fun. Uh, this makes a fun feeling. This green, <laughs> green. Uh, I got to sort out 
the restream chat because I can only see like part of the chat. Right, there we go. Uh, right, do do do. Uh, make a fish like the one uh, in Mario. Uh, this is gonna go into my own game. So if I make fish look like anything, I can't. I can't make them look like they're in a game. Right, and then this can be like the crispy fish. So I'm just gonna give it like a little bit more burntness to it. So let's go grab. Uh -huh. Let's just yeah, right. Like that and even this brown okay, can we have like there we go this is like a little bit more better and mouth can be there we go right beautiful nice burnt fish so what I'm going to do is where, right, so we've got a fire node, where are the fish? Where are the fish? Okay, so they're on a pole node. All right, fine. So uh, fish, crispy one. And then I'm going to just duplicate that, uh, crispy two. Uh, they're down there, so... Ooh. Just get... Get it facing the right way first. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to hide it in the top of the fireplace just so it's it's hidden nicely out of the way. And same as this one. Do that, but I'm also going to flip it around so it looks just a little bit different. And once again, we're going to hide this one in the fireplace as well. Push it up a little bit. And one of. Oh, oh I forgot there's like a giant friggin' hole in here. Okay, can you push back a little bit? Oh no, right, um... Right, you're gonna have to go up. Where's the other fish gone? Well, that one's at least hidden. Uh, they could see what cards the other... Wait, what? Wait, could they really see the cards that the other players? How did they manage to do that? Can you? Can, yeah, I can see. I can see YouTube com comments. Uh, yeah. Oh, question. Um, I want to create a sword. I don't know what I need to do for my asset to be considered. Um, nothing. So it will automatically. So if you want to do a sword, use the template blades and edit that. So open up, open up the blade template and edit that. And when you when you click to export it, it will export it as an equipment already. So uh, you don't need to worry too much. And my camera's frozen on a horrible picture every time. Oh. Give me a second, guys. Right, there we go. Um... What did you put? Yeah, was it about the blades? Uh, can I put it up on my YouTube and then put a link to your YouTube too? Uh, wait, I asked yesterday on Sandbox, uh, but too many people chatting, so you may not have seen it. Uh, can we do a collab, make a Christmas, uh, make the Christmas room you're currently working on into a 360 video? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna say no. Um, at least not yet. Like, it's not even finished, so what the room looks like right now isn't how it's going to end up. I would prefer anything, like, everything that I'm doing to actually be fully finished before we we do anything like that. So, yeah. You have ruse. I did freeze. I did. 
but yeah, I definitely uh the chat would have been going far too fast for me to have seen that. So sorry. Sorry that I didn't see it. Fish to crispy. This is a different fish. So now I need to make this one crispy. I wanna keep like some of the red on this. Maybe even like recolor some of the eye ness. Uh, yeah, once it's finished, I think, God, uh, wow, wanting to do 360 videos of the sandbox, but need help uh, from asset makers to do so. So wait, what exactly is it that you're, you're kind of wanting to do? Although this is probably a chat that might be might be better, you know, like done privately over Discord or something for me to be able to give you the full time and attention into what you're asking. Because there's going to be a chance I'm going to I'm going to miss messages. Right, there we go. This this is pretty crispy. It's he's not he's not fully cooked. He's getting cooked. Right. Fish. And crispy mid fish. Oop. Yeah, he's going to have to be hit here. Okay, is it actually, might actually be better for it to just be in that bit. Yeah, that actually looks like it hides it better, just right there. There we go, beautiful. Uh, room, you have the Christmas scene. We put a camera into the middle of the room and make uh, a one mic. Okay, music showing it off. Okay, I get what you're saying now, yeah. Um... Uh yeah, I'm yeah, I'm in uh Rich's Discord, you can find me on there, or if you're in the sandbox, I'm on the sandbox Discord, so you can find me there. Yeah, you should be out you can find me, don't worry. And if you can't find me there, go hop over to Twitter and you can find me on Twitter. Or hop over to Twitch and you can do like a whisper to me on Twitch and I'll read it. I am fairly findable. I mean, I have I have plenty of random people manage to find me. Hopefully, you can too. Right, so we got that, and then we're gonna do a uh, fish cook o one. Oh wait, there we go. And uh, cook fish idle. Actually, I'm just gonna call it idle o two. Idle O2. There we go. Right. So this is going to be super, super easy. Send friend request. No problem. We'll add you after all of this fun stuff that we're doing. Also, I haven't got a cup of tea today. I've just got water. Just got water. I really need a tea, but like peppermint or something. I had, I was naughty. I've been really good, like not eating like bad food and doing like full meal prep and having like healthy ish meals. And I slipped. I could not be bothered to cook today. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna order a McDonald's. I had like half of my burger and I was like, I feel sick. So now I'm drinking water because I need to get the taste of McDonald's out of my mouth because it's made me feel ill. Is compound entity. Uh, I'm not too... Where are you seeing compound entity? Where are you seeing compound entity? I need. I feel like I need a little bit more. Oh, wait. I might know what you mean. Just elaborate just a little bit so I can jump, double check. Right, so fire on. We're going to have the fire doing animations. 
and I want these little fire bits to, to hide pretty much. You also need to go hide. Like right there, that's your starting position. And you, but just a little bit lower. And you can just start a little bit lower too. Um, the overload, probably, yeah. But not just that, like, literally, I wasn't enjoying the taste of it while I was eating it. I was like, I can't, I can't eat this. Um, and usually I can't, like, and I've, but I also think it's because I've been so good not eating things like that for a little while that eating it is lit, like, it was like, oh, yeah, this is what awful tastes like in my body again. Like, and it's made me feel like proper, like, bleh. Um, is buying actually a good investment? Can we earn money back? Yes, you can. Yes, it is. Um, the only thing I would say with Axie Infinity is make sure you do your research on buying a team. Make sure you're not buying the cheapest free. Um, you do need to be careful in that respect. Also, I'm just going to state again, if my stream does cut off randomly, I will be back in two to three minutes. It will just be the blue screen of death. Um... I'm just going to throw that out there just a couple of times so you guys know that I will be back unless I've said actually like goodbye and then I, I'll be back next time. Um, but yeah, I personally, I think it is still a good investment. If you enjoy playing it, you do your research on buying half decent teams um, and they're cheap at the cheaper. They're cheaper at the minute. So yeah. Um, just sent a few message about your idea. Okay, just having dinner to chat later. No problem. Enjoy your dinner. Um, that's a good place to be. Definitely don't eat it. Uh, in the states, then you really would get. <laughs> um, yeah, like don't you guys? Well, there was. I watched a YouTube video of like a person comparing American McDonald's to the UK McDonald's, and you guys have so much in yours. Like, your salt content, your satch, everything is just so much higher compared to what we have. Like, it's it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm in the Sandbox boot camp, and it has this requirement. Oh, okay, so... Comp usually, we, we wouldn't say compound entity. It would be like, um, you'd be making a compound asset. And it more refers to the animations that you're doing. So uh, when you're doing something like this, this would be classed as compound. So I'm taking a bunch of different models and I'm putting them all together, like each individual over on my library, uh, each individual models that I'm putting together and I'm going to be doing a bunch of different animations. It's usually what it means, but... I don't know whether maybe they've started using different terms, so I could be wrong. But to me, that's what that could be. You pew cowboys, <laughs> wait, what? I missed something. That's why we're so damn salty all the time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Americans are just more rugged. Um, I'll mind the chat if blue screen happens. Thanks, shopping channel. I appreciate that. I'm new here. Your video is good. I learned a lot. I'm glad you're learning, uh, Jester. All right, let's get into... So this is an animation time. I'm going to state this so I can actually put timestamps on certain parts of the video. This is animation time, people. We're going to do animations. That's right. Animations. Who's excited with me? Animations, woo! Okay, I'm gonna drink some water and calm down. Okay, right, let's do it. Uh, did I miss any questions? I wanna catch up with all these questions. I don't think I did. In fact, quickly questions. Woot, <laughs> Mr. Winner's like, woot. Wait, Uruguay, is that, is that how Uruguay is spelled? I had no idea. Wow. And I I did well in English. I did English for A levels. Can can play two animations at the same time. Mm. 
Okay, so if you want to play like two at, you wouldn't be able to simultaneously sim simul. Oh my gosh, I can't English. You won't be able to have them going at the exact same time, but what you could do is you could have one animation and then have another interact. Like, let's say that you would have to do it over on the Game Maker, and I'm not as versed on the Game Maker, but you would essentially have to place the asset, have that asset play one animation from interacting with it, and then play a second animation after you know maybe you go up to it and it asks you a you need to answer a question like you know do you want to cook the fish and you say yes and it will play the second animation how many hours do you think uh to log for vox edit to be considered fluent i don't consider myself fluent i'm learning all the time plus the updates make it hard for me to be like i'm a pro at this um but yeah, right, let's let's get on with this. So so idol one. Oh, whoops, I got oh no. What one's right, this one. Right. Where are you? Right, I'm gonna click that fish. So this is what you need to do. If you found that you've added animations and you found like one of the assets isn't in the right place, you go to where it is in the right place, select it. And chat is in the way, so give me a moment. Where's the silly restream chat? Move it up here. Right, there we go. So what you would do is go down here. You would copy it and then go to the animation and just paste it right there. So now he's he's where he needs to be. Wait, what else? Ah. Oh. Got it on all of them. Copy. paste it's just those ones paste okay and you copy it's just idle one it's in the wrong place and idle fire as well paste hey we we lit we lit hey um I want to make a schedule to learn more. Figured it wouldn't be a straight shot. Um, I mean, yeah, watch, watch the videos, watch tutorials, do all of that. Let's play. Uh, go to the Sandbox Discord, and there's a section that has everybody who's uh, live streaming, so you can go see who's live streaming as well. Oh, so maybe you can uh, copy an animation. Yeah, you can copy another. So, right, give me a second. I just need to concentrate to say <laughs> this, and I've got music playing in my head. So I just want to get this straight. So let's say you've done an animation on this fire, and I've completed that whole animation. I can click new, and all I would do would be select and copy and then go to the new one and paste that animation in there. You would have to go through it all. The best thing to do would be to use this zoom area, zoom out, press control, highlight the whole lot, scroll to the top. Um, so you would, one second, you go to control node, you would highlight absolutely everything uh, using control and go up, copy, and then you choose the next one and you click paste. And go go from there you can't just straight up just go new and it copies the entire thing onto a new one but it will start at that same position so if i wanted to do another animation and i click new the position everything's in in this animation will be the position everything will be in in the next animation all right let's get animating right so As the fire go up. Oh, wait, do we have the sparks? Have I placed the sparks? Oh, I have. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried there for a second. Gonna wobble it.
very, very quick. And all I'm doing is copy and pasting right here to keep this one in that same position and then moving it again. Uh, it gets real dark in Miranda's. It does, doesn't it? It gets scary dark. Um, you're going to have to tell me, Shopping Channel, what do you think? I was... I wanted a little bit more if I'm going to be honest. I did. And I say that I've ha I'm still editing my video from this morning um on it i did want a little bit more but also i didn't realize so there are some trees you can go cut down if you're at and i keep i kept calling it the uh the homestead i am actually pretty sure that's um an outpost um plot which is a lot smaller than i thought it was gonna be so i'm a little little bit disappointed it's that small i hope they extend it a little bit i've heard that they're going to add more plots to the deeds just because of the amount of buildings and i hope they do but right outside the outpost there's some very small very green trees like bright green trees you go to those and you can chop those down but it's chopping down trees in the forest suddenly i can't see a thing oh you know how to chop the trees down i didn't i was mad i was hitting numerous trees just not those ones uh game launch uh will be possible yes everybody will be able to i mean you can make assets right now you can make assets you can export them to your inventory you just can't put them up onto the marketplace and you can't sell them and just as like an fyi as well that the people in the creator fund we get given themes we can't just upload whatever we want and also we have to be selected our assets need to be selected to be put up for sale so we don't even get to just put up whatever we want there's just a little bit of um fyi right there uh with the main game launch will be put uh yeah i read that yes then make a bow yes make the bow make the arrows and then go get a deer go take down a deer i managed to get a deer hide but i think somebody else killed it and left the loot there and i just picked it up by mistake hey dave flynn how you doing so we're still we're still editing this so we're gonna have this go up there i don't really want this main one to do too much i think maybe just having kind of like a uh disappointed because not sure uh not sure what i was expecting do you know if um so go if you go into the citadel uh there's like a group of people all clumped together that's where the the the, the materium appears and you collect it there Right, so you can't have it in your own land for personal use if you're in the creative fund no yes you can yeah i can i can put it on my own land you can put it on your own land um yes but we can't up we can't upload to the market let me just show you what i mean it's easier right so it'll show you See how we've got the marketplace right here. We've got buildings and stuff up for sale. These all cost sands. These assets have been selected to go up for sale. And then if you go down here, there's a bunch of assets that are free for you to pick up at the moment. They may get minted in the future. But these are the ones approved within the creator fund that we make within the creative and that get approved and get uploaded yes we can put them in our inventory and go build a game for our own land blah 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 do whatever with them um but we don't get to just like what i'm making right now this this is not something i have been asked to do within the creative and this is my own personal project which means i would not be able to upload this 
as part of the creator fund. This would be my own project. It looked real nice just playing around with fire under a cauldron till early this morning, but I basically just animated single voxels and made them move a little. <laughs> um, you like mine's better? It took me a long time to get these flames right. It took me a very long time to get these right. Um, how to upload assets to the marketplace. I am going to point you towards my YouTube video on, on that. So give me a second. Uh, uh, I've done too many on Sandbox now, but it's hard for me to find, find the correct ones. Here we go, right. This is, this will show you about adding assets. Now, only some are available, but whatever you make that doesn't get selected can still be put in your <sighs> kind of. So within the creative fund, you get given a theme and sort of like a bunch of like you, there's like a spreadsheet, basically, and there's a theme every month. So a theme might be a pirate theme. And from that, you know, you would you would put your name down for number five on the sheet, and that might be make a pirate small human or make a pirate warrior or it'll be like um environmental asset but pirate themed. And so we have to make assets like that. We don't just make our own, they have to be within the theme and we put there's a whole approval process that goes through it. But I can, but anybody can make any of their own assets using Vox Edit and upload those to their inventory, uh, which includes people on the Creative Fund as well. This started out, and I think I'm learning fast, really hyped at the moment, uploaded 10 assets to Twitter. Hey, I wish you the best of luck. You <laughs> just make an asset, select file, export to Marketplace and follow. Yeah, it's... It is pretty easy, but you know, I'll make a video on anything. You go, I'm getting so close to making a video on literally how to get the grid. So many people have gone, I don't have the grid. How do I get the grid? So many, and I'm not mad at you guys for asking. It's, it's a valid question, 100% a valid question. I am so close to making a video on it because every, I get that question so often and all it is is file, preferences, color theme, choose dark theme, save, and then it will make the grid appear. Yeah, she can make lights. I mean like I've I've made I've made fire, so there we go. Um <laughs> struggle <laughs> uh make that <laughs> it's so easy and it is it is a valid it is a valid question like i'm not mad at people asking but i just i can't believe how many people ask it like it's it's clearly it's clearly an issue if enough if so many people <laughs> make vids on the most basic of basics okay guys today i'm going to show you how to make a block appear so what we do is yeah here we go this, this is this is just gonna be it so so what you need to do is we go to the modeler you go and create your file and you call it whatever you want to call it you then select your color so over on the palette you select your color and over here make sure this one's selected that will allow you to create a voxel and then we place Voila! I have now shown you how to place one voxel. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the smash that like button and hit the notification bell so you get uh, notified when I upload brand new videos. Watch out for these videos and as always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. Goodbye. There we go. Yeah, that's... That's, that's just what I do, right? Uh, I know it's not about Vox Edit, but how do I stop Light Tracer from mirroring the object I import? 
oh i've not had that issue so i don't know um all right yeah i i don't think i could answer that because i actually don't know mine looks fine when i do it um Oh, no, 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 I'm not, <laughs> who's being salty? Probably my arteries after the McDonald's I had. Can you read, no, you can't, you can't create, uh, we can't make transparent blocks. I will show you guys this though, just because I forgot that this was possible. If you go to block and I've selected this and I go to file export to marketplace, and I'm gonna get my little pop-up. Is it done here? New asset. So on here, oh, it's not showing the asset. We can do the transparency right here. I wish I could see it. Uh, purple dust. Wait, we can make it a fluid as well. I didn't realize this. This is a fair, so I don't want to say this is new new, but this is more new than, um, what i'm used to because i barely i barely make make these no transparency 80 so yeah um i'm not too sure what way it should have been can i go back yeah but yeah so apparently you can change the transparency right there I've not really played about with these, so I can't really say what it looks like. Um, but I will put it in my inventory and we will have a look. Uh, oh, there we go. Unpublished. Pick. Yeah. Also, yeah, I'm going to 100% show myself right now. Also, if you guys would love to be super, super kind to me, um, I do have a brand new asset up for sale, the blue haired girl. I'm going to link her. She is rare, so she's a little bit more pricey than my pirate guy. If you guys want to buy my pirate sea dog, you can also go purchase him. He is cheaper. I get that. But yeah, like I'm just shilling myself right now. But no, in terms of the animator, we can't make assets transparent because of the whole faces issue. Um, because then one voxel will then be six faces. You, if you're making something fairly large, like a window, this is going to be very, very transparent. You won't see it. Oh, you won't see it until uh, they're only in the game maker. Perfect. Thank you. Um, I did wonder that when I saw it. So I'm in a group, uh, so I'm in the group hug in the castle. Oh, group hub. Uh, how do I know if I get, get this magic dust? I have no idea. I haven't actually been in the hub for a while, but we need to do the animations. What are you doing to me, people? This was meant to be animation section. Uh, to make lights, I'm making a house, but everything un underground is super dark. I mean, you can make illuminated assets like the fire. The This is illuminated. So to illuminate an asset, you choose the color and you select the little star right there and that will make it light up. Um, so that's the closest to making lights you could probably get. You need a mod. I do. I need somebody to like talk, talk to chat for me. Um available to you as an artist oh okay okay so sorry guys but um if you're not if you're not in the creative fund you, you guys don't get the don't get to to play about with that but it will be possible for the blocks it will be possible for the blocks so sorry sorry to get your hopes up thank you she is us she is us is your name guess it is isn't it uh, no wonder no one can log in there all stood in a group or doing anything. Um, 
Oh, oh, you mean on the on the thingy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, who knows when they'll actually get to our portfolios? Uh, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so they are closing the creator fund for applications because they have had a lot of people. But you will hear back. You will get a reply, whether it's a yes or a no. Um, so yes, you may need to wait, but you will get a reply. Uh, <laughs> Everyone here who applied for the Creator Fund, you all have Sandstorm Discord server, if not join up. Ooh, Sandstorm school. Uh, do you know how long it usually takes? I cannot possibly say because I applied like over a year and a half ago uh, and I got a reply like two days because there was hardly anybody there um but it's very different now so i definitely don't want to be saying oh yes you'll hear back at this point because i can't possibly say that i do not know <laughs> so i could not possibly tell you because I do not know. I don't like this song now. Um, so I have a question. Maybe uh, we can make NFTs and subbox asset in the Polygon blockchain. So right now the assets are just for people in the creator fund to upload. Uh, there's a whole process and all of that. I'm not going to go into detail, but being part of the creator fund does not mean you get to just upload whatever you want and put up whatever you want for sale. There's a whole process, approvals needed, yada, yada, yada. Uh, see previous streams and numerous times I've mentioned it. Uh, I should just make a video on that really. And then once that changes, I could be like, that is no longer valid. Um, but at some point, absolutely everybody will be able to create assets and upload assets and sell assets. That will be a thing. I heard it's about two to three weeks. Uh, yeah. So I would say, yeah, probably two to three weeks. They are closing submissions as well so they can get on top of this. Uh, are the chances of entering at high? I depends how good you are. Honestly, it's there's a lot of factors, so I don't want to say yes or I don't want to say no because when I entered, it was very, very different. Like very, very different time when I entered. I like said they are trying to hire people to manage the creators before they hire a lot more. I mean, yeah, because we're all put in different groups. So if you, for me, for instance, when you look at me on the Discord, you'll see that I'm in the Creator Fund and that I'm in Cell 8. Um, or it might say Cell Limitless. I forget which one it says on it. But that's like the group in it. So you have like a Cell Leader as well as everybody else within the Cell and then we have somebody that does all the checks and then the person that does all the approvals and then the create fund manager as well so there's there's a lot of people there's a lot of people part of the team that obviously many people just kind of don't realize which is fair enough you know all right let's copy paste this one right here do do do
That should be there. Okay. Uh, so, okay, I'm fully caught up with that. There seems to be a lot of people here. Um, but like, also while while I'm while I've got your attention, who likes my Christmas jumper? I'm trying to be like super Christmassy in every one of these streams. I can't remember if I've worn this one already. But I'm trying to do like a Chris a different Christmas jumper for every stream I do. Or at least a different Christmas themed item of clothing. Um Well when I start running out of jumpers and dresses and tops and stuff, I'm probably gonna have to like the, the Christmas themed aspect will be like uh, earrings or something like that, which I will not keep on because I hate wearing earrings. Yes I am. Yes, I will be. Yes. Oh, wait, am I buying the Pokemon RC? Do you mean the, the game or like literally the Pokemon? Like, am I going out and buying Arceus? Get some fairy lights in the background. I've got a green screen. I can't get fairy lights in the background. Behind my green screen's my kitchen. Um, wait, wait, wait. I've got, I've got this dude though. Do you guys have these? In the UK, these have become super, super popular this year. They're called gonks, like G-O-N-K-S. They're like little tiny weird Santa looking things. They're like either pink, gray or white. This one's pink. You can't really tell, but this is like, uh, like baby pink and it's holding like a little shiny star. What the but now I've got glitter everywhere. Looks like something from B&M. Uh, I'll have you know it was from the range, not B&M. It was from the range. Very, very close to B&M. <laughs> Crib tour. Oh gosh, no. My house is a mess. Maybe, maybe when I move into my new house, you guys can have like a tour before I even put like stuff in the house. You can have before I filled my house with crap tour. Did you get gnomed? No, it's he's not a gnome. They they call them gonks. Please tell me, like you guys have these in like somewhere other than the UK. Please explain the different um, options that appear when you right click on one keyframe, especially. Oh, OK, so. This one. I forget which this one's called and I hate using it. It basically does it very like suddenly. So I don't don't use it. This one is it starts slow and goes fast. This one starts fast and slows down. This one's sort of like a more rocking motion. So it's, you know, it goes like a little, it starts a little bit slow, quick and then slow. So it's sort of, it's good for, let me show you. It's good for, da -da -da, where are you? Uh, June, Gunda, oh, oh wait, no, not that one. There we go. So it's good for stuff like, like this. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. That that was the failed one. Um, it might be in my downloads. G G G G G G. There we go. Here it is. Right. So it's good for things like so. Watch the weapon for how it sort of like bobs up and down. It's good for that. So it goes up and then it it sort of does like a little bobby motion. I'm terrible at explaining this. I need to learn what they're actually called because I'm awful. I make up my own words for them. Long way rotation, if you click that, it just means it will take the longest route to rotate whatever way you're trying to rotate it. Should stand here in Miranda seems silly. It does a little bit. Um, I've not been able to, after I stood there for a while, I've not been able to log in to see. Basically, the only way to tell is log out, log back in, and if there's a tick next to your exemplar, then that means you've got all the um, materium, which is one thing I don't like about it. Don't knock B and M. There are some nice bargains to be had there. I mean, that is why it is B and M bargains because there are bargains. I mean, like oh, they do like the big, 
the big ramen pots oh they're nice oh and so like not as cheap as actually being in like japan but oh, nice uh could you be oh wait i'm doing that now uh when you sell one asset in the marketplace does the crypto go directly to your wallet yes it does and then these ones are just like um less like they they just do it a little bit more smoothly so hard to see on there but you see so it's it's this one so watch how this one moves like from there to there and then i go back to that oh no that one's more drastic it's hard to tell but basically the the basic thing is linear is just it goes from point a to b just at the same rate so zigzag means it's it goes like that and then quickly goes to point b so it's a very quick motion uh this one is it starts slow and then quickens up at the end of of the keyframe this one starts quick and slows down so like the think of like when you've got drawers that you push and then they've got like that uh that soft close think of like that motion so you push it and it's going quick and then it slows down this one is sort of like a bobbing motion and these are very similar and i forget the exact difference between them um so i apologize i mostly just use this line here i mostly just use these and long way rotation just means it takes the longest route to rotate where you're going you've been to japan i have i've been to a couple of times it's the one country i felt the most at home the most safe and i just generally loved it and i would live there if i could well i'm not joking at all i i would move to japan and live there i'm kind of good i was meant to go um back in 2020 obviously couldn't this year has been super super crazy next year's looking crazy as well because it's going to be when i can start getting ready to move my uh well sell my house and move to a new house buy a new house so it's a little bit like ugh, but but <gasps> i just realized sorry i just realized what song's playing i'm gonna have to rewind it so i can listen to it again <laughs> the yakuza uh generally speaking the yakuza do not go they're like organized crime so they don't go after the general people and generally speaking if a crime did happen um that you know isn't that isn't directed by them then um yeah it's you don't really need to worry too much no problem oh yakuza no problem no no problem and per permanent resident let's go together you're a permanent resident in japan that's awesome uh oh the tour oh my god no wait okay i'm sorry I i'm gonna give just because just because of how much we've deviated i'm gonna be giving you guys an extra uh like 20 or so minutes onto the stream just because of how much we've deviated so when we're in an izakaya and uh it was like the most japanese i i spoke while being there and also the most non-japanese i spoke at the same time it was a lot of hand gestures talking very broken japanese but it was the most i spoke to locals and um there was one one group of people i was talking to in particular and they were asking what was my favorite part of japan and i you not the first thing out of my mouth was your toilets their toilets are on a whole other level okay I'm gonna paint you a beautiful picture right number one people seemed really freaked out about the idea of it cleaning you like the little spray i'm sorry that is amazing that is freaking wonderful and i have never felt more and clean than having water squirt up me okay it's beautiful you will not convince me otherwise number two seat warmers there is nothing like and i'm in the uk so in winter there is nothing more terrifying than when your house is freezing cold snow outside and you wake up in the middle of the night realizing you need to go pee it's the middle of the night we don't have our freaking heating on 
to go downstairs and you got to place your bare and ass on a freezing cold toilet seat is horrible. Seat warmers are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Public toilets. Okay. The ones that I was in. They either play musical sounds while you in pee or they play like water sounds to hide the fact that you're peeing so people can't hear you pee. Now I'm a fairly quiet, quiet peer, which seems really weird, but there is nothing more relaxing than knowing like while I'm having a piss, like you can't hear it. <laughs> the toilet's are... <laughs> Um. <laughs> um oh wait someone wants to know uh you want to create a you want to create a batman avatar uh so copyright is copyrighted materials will not be permitted or approved but you could make like a knockoff that is batman but isn't batman at the exact same time maybe instead of looking like batman he's got like you're like a generic superhero uh, um also also you washed is very good right so the only toilets and please forgive me for anybody that may be from from here the only toilets i have not enjoyed oh and also i don't mind squat toilets i've used squat toilets very very nice don't mind them at all the only toilets i do not like are the ones in china and I will paint you a picture and it won't be a pretty picture either. Not like, not like the beautiful picture of the Japanese ones. Um, if you, get, you don't wipe it off, you wash it off with, how, how are you getting it on your shopping channel? I don't actually, don't tell me, don't tell me. Um, but yeah, in China, I have never experienced anything so horrible there. They've got like, so you need to carry your own toilet paper. No problem um at all no i didn't mind that they have baskets obviously to put your toilet paper in which is the same as korea uh which by the way the korean public toilets no issue with those and they were squat toilets and the paper baskets for the toilet roll absolutely no issue the difference is the cleanliness of them shit you not i saw one person cleaning and these were toilets within a very very nice um like uh, department store you know shopping center area these were public toilets in like a big shopping center area and the person cleaning them was cleaning them with probably the dirtiest mop i have ever seen and it didn't look like she was cleaning them there is fat um sorry cigarettes i'm going to my english there's cigarettes all over the toilets i did it's the smell is putrid absolutely horrific i hated using the public toilets there the only place in china where they were fine public toilet wise was when i visited a theme park in tayan is the only time it's nice um i see toilets have been a key reason why you like japan <laughs> not a key reason just a reason that like it's nice it's nice like the toilets are not i'm not gonna when if I ever get a chance to design my own house, which one day I would very much like to, the toilets will be. Ja I will import Japanese toilets if I need to, so I can have those toilets like one hundred percent. So nice. Um, but in Korea, like just to contrast to China, Korea is almost exactly the same. They have squat toilets. They have baskets for the tissue and everything to go into, but. They are incredibly cleanly. They did not have a horrific smell to the point where I was like, I, I feel like I, I could just gag in here. And my gag reflex is pretty decent. Like I'm not too worried. Like smells and stuff don't really make me go like, Ugh. but yeah, Korea, lovely. If Thailand, if Thailand toilets are more similar to korea i'm fine with that don't mind getting like one of those little cups and sploshing myself don't mind i applied for the friend artist how long um i don't know how long it will take however you will hear back i'm not i'm not part of the people that do that hiring so i apologize not my department though
Right, I'm just going to... So yeah, that's... That's the, that's the end of story time, kids. Hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, there was a lot of reasons why I like Japan. I felt very, very safe in Japan as well. Super safe. Um, fe <laughs> festival toilets are worth... Oh, I mean, like, yeah, UK festival toilets are obviously, like, on a whole of a level, too. Like, we don't have good festival toilets here. Like, at all. Yeah. They're worrying. Um, but yeah, so, and I've just realized, like, I've lost, I've lost a few of you guys during the toilet talk. The German ones, uh, aren't better, I'd say. Wait, they are better or they aren't better? Like, festival toilets or just general toilets? I don't think you can beat Japan. Japan's just on a whole other level. It doesn't matter what you say, you could be right, but you're not going to convince me that that any toilets are better <laughs> are, are better than Japanese toilets. You you just can't convince me. It won't happen. I'm fully committed to my Japanese toilets. always cleaning and all females they even enter men's while occupied i've i mean i've seen some male cleaners but not in the women's though i've seen male cleaners like cleaning maybe not toilet cleaners but i've seen like male cleaners in japan but yeah i wouldn't say i've ever seen a female cleaner um a male cleaner in a uh, female toilet in japan but Gus, yeah, you live in Japan? That's awesome. I'm very jealous. I'm not even joking. I'm incredibly jealous right now. I miss Japan. Tell me. Tell me what is it. Wait, wait. Where in Japan are you? Where in Japan are you? If you don't mind me asking, obviously. Japan's have that shelf. So no backsplash. What shelf? What shelf? Where's there a shelf? What shelf? What shelf? <laughs> Wait. Oh, my German. Is it just jo Oh, look! If I start putting German toilet, it even comes up with shelf at the end of it. What shelf? Oh, wait, is that? That's kind of like, is that not how UK toilets are? wait i see how it is oh your toilets are oh, they're very weird that's very different here I, yeah I, i'm weirded out by the german toilet but not the fact that like the japanese ones literally you know pew water up your backside oh, that's interesting oh i've not been to um not been there uh now mostly in canada oh U us for pandemic ah oh, but but japan but japan wait uh sapporo's um north uh hokkaido right the the main city in hokkaido Laughing at how serious the toilet discussion's getting. I mean, toilets are a serious business. Like, we we all gotta go toilet. UK goes straight into the water. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see how it is. I see how it is. But, like, I've seen, like, one, okay. The, not so much the American toilets, but your, the American toilet stalls, like your public toilets, What's with the giant frigging gap that people can frigging see you through? What's that about? Why? Who? Why? Why do you guys need to be spying? It's so bizarre. 
Yeah, Hokkaido. Oh, it is. I was right. Yay. Proud of myself. I remember some geography. Please don't forget, subscribe and share, dear chat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, don't forget, guys. Smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you're helping the YouTube algorithm, you're helping me. And I am now full-time self-employed content extraordinaire creator. Yes, yes. This is my job now. This is, this is my life. Please, please help out a loyally creator. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to rewind to the song. Here we go. Right. I'm going to be on my own world for about two, two minutes for this song. Congrats on flying solo. Thanks. Hates that too. See, it's weird. Everybody toilets. Everybody toilets. Me, 2021. Oh, I'm going to be taking, like, real note of so many toilets now when I travel to different countries. It's for the win. <laughs> I haven't said that, though. I've not said toilets for the win. I mean, toilets are for the win. Like, we all, we all got to go. We all got to go sometime. Toilets are good. Uh, how come everything on Galo is so expensive? How do you even get started <laughs> with any of their games? Uh, you you go back to January to February earlier this year and you buy then. And you wait until now. <laughs> um, that's what I did. Uh, yeah, it is. It is expensive. I'm I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It is. It is expensive. Um I really, really do hope they'll deliver. I don't feel like I feel like they have a very good vision, and if they can implement that vision very, very well, it's gonna be super, super successful. Um and hope hopefully the economy is gonna be there. I feel like a few things need to actually happen, which is they've already stated they don't want to like have any uh destruction of NFTs. And they've stated like your swords and stuff are going to be your own NFTs. So in my opinion, to keep the economy there uh and to keep people buying and keep it alive, you're going to need to have those weapons, equipment, whatever degrade over time. Now, I don't mean degrade to the point that they'll break, but let's say you have a, a simple common sword. Let's say you've made a wooden sword. This is pretty useless. It does 10, 10 attack. You know, you, you take, it has 10 attack. Let's say after you've used it so many times, there's a certain percentage that it will go down up until it hits like a base low of three attack. And then you need to take it to the forge and get it fixed for resources to keep the resources in circulation um, to get that fixed, to go back up. That is a must. I feel like to keep the economy, if there's not going to be any destruction, then that is a must to keep the economy going. That's what they need. Some walking dead land for oh, nine. Eight. Kagi is just so awesome. He just buys so much, so rich. I'm such a poor crypto person. Uh, are up for Fortified or maybe Town Star, which, um, I mean, obviously you've got the chance of it is play to earn. They do allow you to play. It is free and stuff like that. Uh, anyone get? Yes, I've got a few ships. I've not gone too hard in it. I feel like maybe I should have put a little bit more money over in Star Atlas. There's one ship I really wanted for like 
$2,400 and I was really umming and ahhing because that is a lot of money for me to put into something that isn't a playable game right now. So what I generally like to do is um, if it's a game, I, I usually only invest in games I actually want to play. So I have a few ships. The most expensive I think is the Opal Jet Jet. I think that's my most, the, whichever one was like two, three hundred dollars. That's my most expensive one. And then I've got a couple at twenty, thirty dollars. Some of the smaller ones, I've got a few of those. So I will play the game when I can play it and earn. And if I enjoy it, then I'll put more money into investing in it for a better ship. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's easy to make for a, a month videos. See, I just play <laughs> place the NFTs that cost now 14k each and they earn me points every day. That's it, it guys. Just have money. <laughs> Wait, what? I wish I could make like this is how much I make in a month, guys. <laughs> like, I mean, I can't, I have like, I have been able to buy things. I mean, I got some sandbox land back when you, it was like $40, $50. You know, now they're worth like 3.2 ETH or something like that at base price. Um, so yeah, I've made a lot of money that way by just holding, holding. And I buy in pro uh, projects that I really actually like the look of or have a very, very low cost barrier me to throw it, put it into my entertainment money instead of going to the pub buying a drink i'll buy an nft what's the play on buying which nfts uh what do you mean what's the play on buying which nfts so generally speaking um most of the time the only nfts i buy bar a couple are ones that have utility in gameplay so things like axie infinity um like land for sandbox deeds and exemplar weapons and stuff for uh mirandus ships for star atlas ships and mods for crypto space commanders uh vehicles for war riders war riders is a free to earn game uh, free to play game so you can you don't need to buy anything to get started in that so the cheapest on star atlas the cheapest ships i believe are 20 to 30 dollars i feel like that is a fairly good low cost entry barrier the, there's no gameplay yet though the game isn't out so you're investing now in hopes that it's going to be good in the future. I feel like 20 to $30 is, for a lot of people, I feel like that's affordable. Like, instead of going to Starbucks, just don't. Hey, Shameful Dead, what the frig? That's 20 USD. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hope it all goes well. Your content has been great so far. Thank you. And I, ho I hope to give you even better content other than just talking about toilets around the world uh do you think the nfts of the alpha pass will be worth a lot no the worth of the alpha pass is literally for getting the rewards within the alpha pass um obviously it will have some value afterwards like it's going to be like a nice memento for you to have and it is an nft in itself um there's five thousand of them though so it's not not super super rare obviously in terms of people that want to play in the alpha that is rare but in terms of nfts within sandbox that's not the rarest nfts so but there are um the three limited nfts and the 1000 sands you can earn for playing it um I've only got six axes and three assets I bought in the sandbox marketplace you gotta start somewhere everyone's gotta start somewhere uh now that you're full-time content creator you need to make us able to sub on twitch but if i do that if i do that though then i can't restream so i can't stream to d live and i can't stream on youtube and i prefer streaming on youtube than on twitch 
you can you can you can like sub to me on youtube i've got memberships i need to do like some custom videos just for people in memberships because i'm getting a few but okay so i've got no alerts for you guys that are subbing to me over there but for anybody that has become a member on my youtube i appreciate you and i do see that you've done done it but after i've finished streaming um so yeah you can you can do that and I'll make I'll I'll start making you guys some like maybe I'll do some like members members video like live streams like just for members. <laughs> Although I think I've got like five, <laughs> so it'd just be me and five people <laughs> chilling out. And that's only if you're awake when I do it. <laughs> mini game next week. The mini games next week. Thank you for that. I was gonna go and ask about it. Do 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 um so do we know is the mini game gonna have an ability or just there to sort of show show off watching for big time um game uh and phantom galaxies okay uh out if the posters or ships are better right now what do the posters do See, this is the thing. I've not looked too much because I know I could potentially get FOMO with Star Atlas. So I've purposely tried to stay away from it until I hear news that I can play anything um, because I know I shouldn't be investing any more money right now. My phone's beeping. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to I'm going to do a giveaway for you guys. But but the the giveaway asset will not be sent until after christmas and when gas is a affordable price as well so i am going to show you whoops i'm going to show you the weapon crate that you are going to win i'm going to sort out the form and all of that so chat amongst yourselves but there are six owners i sent five out today i thought i did four one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed them five. I better check my sheet. I'm the sick phoner. So yeah. Send out those. So you, the winner will get put on the list with the with all the stuff. All that fun stuff. So there is that. And I need to go here. That was, looks good with Unreal Engine 5 graphics, but before seeing any gameplay, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. But also, we've also got to take it with a pinch of salt with the mini game. So we can't take, like, when we see the mini game, we can't be thinking this is what it this is going to be like. you got to just be like, okay, the mini game's the mini game. Um, the full game's the full game. You need to refuel the ships, etc., and send them on missions. And an Atlas comes out uh comes out the 16th and 18th for this month okay is it gonna cost to refuel my ships send your fleet out and earn atlas i'm happy to earn atlas i'm gonna i'll be happy to earn atlas right let me find where are you uh how do i just search in my drive I can't find it. Right, what date would I have done it? Either the 7th or the 9th. Okay, let's go up. I edited that. Yes, yes, yes. I can't find it. Okay, I'll just do another sheet. I'll I'll make a new one. So make a copy. What's today's date? Change that. Sponsors open. Okay, are you guys ready? Uh, it'll cost a refuel. Oh, 
Question, if you make NFTs on the sandbox game and sell them on the platform, can you make money from it? Yes, yes you can. Uh, that's only, oh, so disclaimer, disclaimer time. Currently, currently only people in the creator fund can upload assets to the marketplace. We get given themes. We do not just make whatever we want. There's a whole approval process. Then the assets that you see put up for sale are selected assets by people above ourselves that select them there that's their job to select assets to go up for sale in the future this will be open to everyone blah 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 all of that shiz you can make money from seven and your assets have been oh dave i appreciate you putting that for me you made that so much easier on me right so we got the fire doing its fire thing now i need my smoke Doing my smoky thing. So we're hiding the smoke, so I'm going to have it just appear right there. So one keyframe to make the smoke appear. See, it's it's hiding, and then it's there. Hiding, and then it's there. And what we're going to do is, whoops, go back gonna do is go to about here and we're gonna have it go up but i also want it to just just a little bit so it's gonna go doop, doop, doop. loop and then i turn it that way and have it go loop up make it last just a little make this a little bit shorter oh this is a bit and then here's up grab hold of this copy one keyframe paste and all the gem and so many different tokens and wallets that's why i'm just sticking to a few oh you're getting into oh you're getting into all these games i was like gems what into all these games um best place to buy get phantom wallet and maybe swap solana for atlas and radium okay uh so there'll be probably approval process right to avoid hundreds of trash empty blocks in the marketplace yeah um that's not my job so i'm not really going to think about that just yet um until i get confirmation on how it's all gonna go i'm just gonna just be like uh it's, it's what it is um i'm sure they will have something um i don't know what it'll be uh when they do when i do get confirmation i'll make a video saying this is what they're going to be doing when is the results the result oh um i'll call it out in a little bit and how do you get in the creative when i started playing the game um you need to have between five to ten assets made within vox edit um i would you need to show a good level of detail in the designs as i and i would also suggest showing off animation skills as well being able to make something like this fire for instance being able to do something like that uh they are closing the applications for a month because they have had a lot so right now you i, I think they're closed now but i'm not 100 percent sure uh, a bit worried about startless the scope of the project may be too much for them looking at how star citizen has been going see i'm i'm more worried because i've seen how crypto space commanders has gone and animaco um bought csc and they're also part and star atlas is part of it as well part of like under animaco brands so i'm a bit skeptical but i'm hoping i'm hoping i think will go well because i really really enjoy crypto space commanders and i can see star atlas being very very similar to that and i hope that it um expands on the what CSE was trying to do and is hopefully still trying to do I wouldn't call uh crypto space commanders a dead game um but they they hit, were asked numerous times please get if like connected to their marketplace and they hadn't and I feel like that's one reason why it's there's still players I still go on it 
Um, but I feel like that's why it's died down a little bit. Hey, BSO101. Right, let's go for this is smoke number two. So I'm going to go to about here. Copy. So that's there. And then one keyframe. I'm going to shimmy this up and I'm going to pull it over here. I'm going to have this one happen a bit sooner. There we go. Uh, seeing people come to start our Atlas who are not even gamers, I think it'll be huge um i hope it will be i do go into a lot of these projects just kind of more like wishful thinking hoping it's going to be good um but i'm still one of those i like to wait to see a game and play a game in whether i'm going to put a large investment the amount of money i've put in it already is much more significant to what i would have used to have put into games like this so uh, I definitely like it. I definitely think it's got great scope. It looks amazing. And I hope that they can deliver. It's the same with Alluvium. I really hope Alluvium can deliver. I would like to see a little bit more gameplay in terms of what Alluvium want to do rather than just the auto battler side. Um, uh, creators got approved by the sandbox for the creator fund they're still hiring kind of they've closed the creator fund applications right now so they can go through all the applications um but yeah there's quite quite a few of us there in the creator fund for sure will be big though people want star citizen and want an upgrade from eve online that's how i felt csc was gonna be i thought that was gonna be csc i'm not gonna lie if you ever played csc you would know what i mean csc had huge huge scope it was absolutely amazing really really good um many people believe that animaco brought um bought into CSC because they wanted the Star Trek trademark because we, we uh, at CSC they had the Star Trek trademarks to to have their products in their game when I say investing I mean they are investing with the intention of playing uh, do you think mine will be reviewed yes if you were able to apply yours will be reviewed but um they may take longer to get to it how do you hide the smoke just moving it somewhere yes yeah, so when so what i do is what i suggest everybody do when you're wanting to make um something with numerous models attached to it position everything first before even adding your additional uh, you can't see them because i'm in the way but um you can see where i'm putting the purple lines instead before you add any additional animations to it i suggest you rig it up you get everything where you want it positioned and you find hiding places for these so the smoke is in there as you can see i've got right there i've got fire that appears i also have some smoked fish some crispy fish that i'm hiding up here so i just position it and hide it there and then when it comes to animating it where's my smoke gone there we go when it comes to animating i copy where its starting position is go to right before i want it to appear paste that so it stays in that position and then one keyframe to make it rat like just jump out as if it's just appeared coming out of the fire uh you do one keyframe so i position that and then i do the animation from there uh the strategy factor of startless will be yeah me too it looks it really looks like it's going to be very good uh 
Well, no, uh, I think I've caught up. Uh, maybe you could make one of them blow things. A bellows? Um, yeah, it's a little bit crowded on here. The be and also the bellows would be too... I wouldn't be able to get the level of design I would want on it just because of the size aspect of everything. Um, but yeah, I have... I On a previous fireplace, I did put like a poker on it. When the empty key frames in the animation, do you slow it down like that? Wait, what do you why the empty key frames? Um, the empty key frames just means it's not moved. So, you know, I copy this and I paste it there. So it's not moved positions, and then I want it to fall down. So it'll start falling down. You you get the idea? So it stays there for that amount of time and then it starts to fall down to that position i don't want it to move though it is also super important and i'm going to show you this on uh an animation that is finished uh, uh this one isn't oh wait yeah it is super super important super important so this has two animations it has idle which there and also for some reason this these have moved but we're going to ignore that and then we have on this is the important bit wherever the final keyframe is for the animation everything needs to end on that keyframe whether or not they're moving see how this bit right here we've got this whole section that is still you still need to do it until the end point. And even we've got ones that the control node isn't moving and the case isn't moving. We still need to copy and paste those starts right at the end where the whole animation finishes. And even ones that are idle, you need if you've done any other animation, any other animation, even if it's another static animation, you need it to be one keyframe. You need it to be one keyframe. And this is so it doesn't break in the game maker. The only time you don't need to do that is... Uh, that's not a good one because I've done it. Okay, for this one, this is two statics. So you see these have no animation. Nothing's actually happening. It's not animated. But I have two static anima um, animated stills. Um, so we've got a full bath and an idle bath. Or empty, really. Um, and they're both one keyframe because I've got more than one. Uh, this one, I didn't need to do this. So with this one, I can take these off because there's no other static animations. There's nothing else going on. It's not animated or anything like that. So that doesn't need to be one keyframe. But if you've got two, uh, more than one, so two, two or more, it needs to be one keyframe regardless of whether there's any movement happening and when you've got an like a full-on animation with everything moving everything needs to end at the same keyframe hopefully i've explained that correctly to you guys uh how how can you implement the switch in vox edit what do you mean the the switch Why do you place them in there? Why, why do I place them in there? So they can be hidden? Because I, I want it like, so for this, uh, sorry, for fire on, might have to slow some of that down. Yeah, that one's a bit quick. So I'm gonna slow that one down and make that one less like it's waving.
uh, do you have any technique for that or are you just painting as I feel like it? Um, yeah, most of the time I just sort of paint it as I feel like it. Uh, with this, I wanted to do a simplified brick effect. So I chose a base color and then I've gone a shade above that, a shade below, and then just a shade above the darker shade as well. Um, off of my palette that I have. So I've got, this is the base color. So then the shade above that is these ones. And then the dark ones are the shade above that. Sometimes I may grab the base shade and just like add a little bit of detail on there, but I didn't want to do too much on that because I knew this was going to be a big thing. Um, and then sometimes if I want to do super, super detailed things, I will get a little bit more technical with it. You want to know everything, love it. Uh, the switch you utilize in the game maker to give commands to your assets uh, is on the Vox Edit template section. Um, so, uh, wait, the switch you utilize in the game maker to give commands to your assets. So all you do is on Vox Edit, on the Vox Edit side, this is all you do. You create your asset, you get it all rigged together, and you do any of the animations. You can do as many animations for it as you want. You do all of that. Then when you export it and put it into the game maker, that's when you would select what animation you want to be playing or select certain things. Do you want it to start when a certain event happens in the game? And all of this is what you would do in the game maker. Now, I'm not 100% sure how to go about a lot of the things in the game maker. So if you want it to be like, you want it to do fire on and then switch to just idle fire. I, I, how do I export into the game maker? Um, what's the best way to learn Vox Edit? Probably the tutorials that I've got on YouTube, as well as my live streams and other people's live streams. Um, asking questions in the Discord is also a very good way to learn. I would say my my videos are a little bit easier to, to learn from purely because um, they're much shorter and I'm putting like chunks of information um the live streams obviously you can personally ask me and i'll try and answer the best i can there um how do you export to the game maker file export export to marketplace it puts it in your inventory go find my youtube video that tells you that exact thing uh right i'm closing the the giveaway i need 33 responses cool right let's uh create a new spreadsheet create Gonna make sure there's no duplicates. Right. Oh, I love this. So far, no duplicate. No. Oh, you're yeah, all good. I don't need to do the finger of shame. Uh, I think you've all been really, really good. Give me one second. Oh, one. One person. One person was naughty, naughty. So far. I just double checked. Okay, one person was naughty. The rest of you have been good. Right, so. Random number generator. Wait, do you guys want a random number generator or do you want me to do like the streamer giveaway wheel? Let me know. Is the giveaway, where is the giveaway? It's closed now, you missed out. Sorry, Lil, Lil Ma Maud. Make a spinning asset that looks great in Vox Edit but spins backwards halfway through the in, uh, animation. I mean, yeah, you could spin it one way and then spin it the other way. Are there any decentralized uh, competitors to the sandbox? Decentraland? Maybe? I don't think so, though. No, double dippers don't get disqualified. Right, what do you want? Do you want the the wheel the wheel giveaway or just me doing a random number generator i feel like the wheel will make it more more fun
Oh wait, I might not be able to. Where's the wheel I usually use? There used to be one where we can extend how long how long the wheel got spun for. That's kind of what I want. All right, we'll just do this one. Right, let's let's put the names in. These aren't the names. Right, uh, Leah. I'm just doing like the start name. I hope I'm spelling these people right. There's too many. Oh, do you know why? Right. Uh, a form has to be filled in for the giveaway. Yeah, the form needed to be filled in. The form's gone, though. The form... Have I spelled your name right? Oh, gosh, I feel, I feel slightly blind right now. Um Oh, you know what? This would be easier. Oh no, no, no. I didn't mean to start. Stop. Oh, wait. That didn't count cuz I haven't put everybody's name in. Sorry guys. I didn't put everybody's name in. Right. Sorry. I didn't put everybody's name in. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys for a spin. I didn't. I thought I could just copy and paste, but when I tried to copy and paste it, it didn't like it. <laughs> it did not like the copy and paste. Oh, right. Next time I'm just doing the random number generator. Right, are we ready? How many people are there? This many people. <laughs> oh, Froy, did you see that it... Froy, it did come up with your name. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Right. And the winner is... Oh, is it stopped? Tony, what was Tony's full name? Tony, 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 where's the start of Tony? Tony Siebert. You, you put the platform as the YouTubes. I kind of love that. You were watching me on the YouTubes. All right, let's uh, paste, paste this in. So congrats on being a winner. I don't think you're a previous winner. Just double checking. No, you are not. Get your full name in there. I'll be just going to get... Will I get this incorrectly? And your ETH address needs to go in there. All right. On my stream, on today's date. 
So close for Christmas, guys. 11 sleeps to go. Who's excited? Who is excited? Have you all been good? Is Father Christmas going to be visiting you guys? So, sorry to the people that didn't win. So, Tony... Yeah, yeah, Tony Siva. <laughs> I'm, I'm old, so we see the YouTubes. So, Tony, congrats. Where's your name? You hadn't filled out the form. You, you hadn't filled out the form. Sorry, I put in all the names that of the people that had filled out the form. Um, sorry if it you like it didn't come up with your name, but I I literally copied each name because uh, I was regretting my choice. Um, so sorry, sorry if you didn't get in. Um, you did. It did. It. Oh wait, Savage, you did. Um, what what was your name under? Give me a second. I may have like really shortened your name. I, your name may have gotten like really, really shortened. I can't get it up now. A lot of you weren't there. It, I was writing them all down. Oh, now I'm, I'm, I'm worried now. Maybe I'll do a second one and I'll just do random number generator for you guys. But it's not going to be, it's not going to be given the, uh, right, give me one second. I'm just going to try and find the form because I've closed it now. Oh, uh, UYG, your name was definitely in there because I just typed you as UYG. So I know your name was there. Know it was there. Right, this one. I can look at the responses. Yeah, 33 responses. View it in spreadsheet. Shameful Dead. Oh, wait, some of your names weren't there. I don't remember writing Emma or... Yeah. Wait, that's weird. Because only one person did their name... Uh, did their thing twice, which I removed the duplicate. Okay, do you know what? I will do... Yeah, I'll do it. A... I'll do another one. Because I filled out the form. I mean, Antonio, your name... Yeah, your your name was number one, and uh, Antoine. Yeah, your name's number one. Oh, even shopping channel. Shopping channel, I didn't write your name down. That's weird. Yeah, some of your names didn't come up. Okay, now I'm confused. Did I just not... Oh, did I not scroll up to the top? Was I silly and I just didn't scroll to the top when I was filling it out? I'm sorry. Another chance. Do another one. Do another one. Um... Yeah, right. Let me just reiterate. The Do you know what? We'll do hide and seek on Thursday. I'll do two on Thursday. So there'll be hide and seek on Thursday. And there'll just be another spin. And I am going to save all of the names on this sheet. And you will be automatically entered into the Thursday one. So I'm going to save this right now. I'll save. Right. So that's saved. Do RNG. I am going to do I'm not going to do the wheel next time. I regretted my decision. <laughs> I did think that it didn't quite feel like I typed 33. So that's what we're going to do. Ah! About. Are you giving us co content about Townstar? I'm not that good at Townstar. Do you want content about Townstar? You want content about Townstar? So yeah, that's what's going to happen. So that's saved. So you all automatically get put into Thursday's uh, giveaway, regardless of whether you're here right now. And on Thursday, I'll do two. There will be one hide and seek in the hub. And yeah, because we're still open. We're going until the 20th, aren't we? So yeah, we've got time. So on Thursday, we'll do hide and seek in the hub. So be here. That stream starts at 7 p.m. We're going to, and I promised you 20 more minutes today, so you're going to get 20 extra minutes. So, yeah, Thursday we're going to do hide and seek if you're here. And 
all your names from today get put into on Thursdays, uh, regardless of whether you're here or not. Uh, town start building my base as you speak. Awesome. I'm awful at it. I'm absolutely awful at it. But yeah, so you will get put in. But I'm going to do it on Thursday. But I do want to reiterate that the, the, the weapons crate for the giveaway will not be sent out this side of Christmas. There is a good chance it won't be sent out until January. Because I've already got um, one, two, three, four, if we include Tony as well. So I've already got four people that I still need to send NFTs out to above the two other people that are going to win on Thursday as well. So do bear that in mind. However, I do have your ETH addresses. Your names do get highlighted so I can see who hasn't received it. And it goes in order of you winning. And I have plenty to give out. I'm not, not worried about, about you not receiving it. Can we fill the form Thursday again? You can, but you won't get two entries. <laughs> Just because, yeah, you won't get two entries. But you can fill it out again on Thursday. Just because when I import the ones from today to Thursdays and then I, and then I uh, do it for A to Z, you might get flagged as a duplicate entry. But it's just so like you guys that are here, if you're busy on Thursday, you don't need to worry about actually being there to enter. But you could win hide and seek and you could win that one. That's going to be the only time I'm going to allow two winners of the weapon crate will be on Thursday. What's my account on OpenSea? Why? I mean, you could probably find it because I have assets and it's under my Panda Pops name. So you could you could look on the sandbox assets, find one by Panda Pops and see what I'm holding. But like, why? Hide and seek. What's hide and seek? So the hide and seek game is when we go into the alpha hub and I count and you guys hide and then I have to find you. And the last person found wins an NFT. That's that's hide and seek. And if you need me to expand more on what hide and seek is, I'm a little bit worried that you've never experienced hide and seek and I I weep for your childhood. Please tell me you have in fact played well actually no, because you, you could be from anywhere that, you know, might not have hide and seek. Right, um, no, um, I, I don't really just give NFTs out for people that beg me for NFTs. I feel like a lot of people are under the assumption that I have money. I don't. I literally just quit my job. You give me money. <laughs> UIG. You you give me money. I I don't have a job anymore. Like You give me an NFT. Uh <laughs> uh if you have Gala and Town oops, if you have Gala and Town Coin and an NFT, why oops? Can you still make Town Coin on it though without being in top tier? I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Uh, I know how to seek just curious about the platform. <laughs> uh, so no worries. In hide and seek, do you need to tag the person or just no, you need to see them. If it was hide and seek tag, we would be there forever. So it's not going to happen until Thursday, but my rules are, and you guys did not play by my rules properly last time. My rules are when I find you 
and I just need to like literally see you and see your username. And I find you, you're meant to at least stick somewhat around me and help me find other people. Uh, but you still have to be in the, if you find someone else, you still need to be within the general area that I am for me to know that you found someone else. Otherwise, you could just be like, I found this user and you, you may not have. And I don't know because <laughs> you've just like ran around and I don't know. I have an NFT and no gala and I have got not got patience of a saint. <laughs> yeah, you kind of, you kind of need that to to play town, uh, town star. I didn't need the patience of a saint for town star, not gonna lie. um is the hide and seek on sandbox yeah it'll be in the alpha hub in the areas that are open to absolutely everybody so you need to be in the alpha hub um you don't need the alpha pass because it'll be in the main social hub that absolutely everybody can be in why did you quit your job uh, I was just like really just I just thought I really want to struggle in life like I really just don't want to work I just want to sit at home and play computer games so I was like do you know what I'm gonna quit my job and try and do that professionally you know so I decided I wanted to be full-time doing all of this I'm in a position that uh, is allowing me to do so somewhat I wouldn't say comfortably but I am in a position where I don't need to worry too much um in terms of my bills and everything is all still fine based off of what I have and what I do regularly earn from certain things so I'm not too worried in that respect but yeah that's why also I um even though my my old job was just part-time it was super super early mornings very manual work so i ended up feeling very exhausted when i finished and made it very hard for me to get on with the stuff i actually wanted to do and i want to focus more on what i actually want to do in life rather than the things i don't want to do and i'd been at the job for five years and all they got five years five and a half years i was there and all i got was this box of chocolates a guy was there for one year, one year, which included times that we were in lockdown and he got a plant, he got three bottles of wine and chocolates. I'm there five years and I get one box of chocolates. They're nice chocolates though. They're all like very hazelnutty and I love hazelnuts, love hazelnuts. Uh, so it does not matter if you have 100 NFTs in Townstar, if you have no gala power, and even if you have 100 levels and only NFTs, you only get paid for two. Um, is from crypto, it's possible. It is possible. Not that it means it was uh, time for you to leave a place that no longer serves your soul. That is all. Yeah, pretty much. It no longer serves my soul. I love that. Can I use that? I'm going to use it. It no longer served my soul. It didn't. It did not serve my soul. Just my soul was just being so unfulfilled. I love it. Like, I'm. That's how I'm going to describe it to everyone. Anybody that asks me, that is how I'm describing it. And I thank you for that. Who said it? Wait, who said it? Hamilton or Bantu? Bantu. Bantu said it. Yeah. Oh, love it. No longer served my soul. How do you feel about binary options? 
don't know. A box of chocolates they clearly didn't like. <laughs> you say that, but oh, literally my my boss <laughs> literally was like, you can come back at any time. Like she even ended up going like, you have no idea what you're leaving us with because the other person that works there that they're going to have to deal with instead of me now is a friggin' nightmare. And yeah, my bo my boss cried, so yeah, I wasn't happy. But in all fairness, the other guy, I'm only part-time. I interact with about three different members of staff, maybe four sometimes. Um, otherwise, I'm not there when other people are there. Whereas the other guy was the assistant manager and interacted with everyone. So yeah, also some people probably were a little, some of the staff were probably a little bit pissed off because I leave RC messages in the group chat being like, you didn't leave the alarm on, you left a fucking window open, this is unacceptable, this is unacceptable, this is unacceptable. Because let me tell you, walking into a pub first thing in the morning in the pitch black to find the alarm doesn't go off when you enter, and then to do the walk around to make sure nobody is actually in the pub to then find a window, a sash window, open, wide open, is friggin' terrifying. It's not for you any longer. What did you do at your previous job? I cleaned. I cleaned a very, very large pub. The hours worked for what I needed and I... I, they respected me enough to allow me to negotiate higher pay constantly. I was being paid more than some um some people I've been paid more than a lot of people there. Let's just put it that way. Uh I did buy sweets for the whole office though. Wait, what? Uh I did an internship last year, worked there for six months free of charge, uh out of an office. Only a handful stopped by to say goodbye uh let alone leave you chocolates yeah but that's that's six months i worked there for five and a half years but yeah my boss did cry when she gave me a hug bye he is safety is important safety is important let me tell you oh totally unacceptable i was not happy and that happened a couple of times and then one time they didn't leave me a note they were meant to open for breakfast at half eight it got to like quarter past eight. No chefs had arrived. The assistant manager hadn't come in and no other staff was present. And this was the same day that an alarm didn't go off and they left a window open and the pub was a mess. So I ended up leaving a very arsy message going, where the hell is everyone? I'm leaving soon. Are you not meant to be opening at half eight? Not a single person told me that because the manager had the weekend off, they decided they weren't going to open until 10 o'clock. They just decided they weren't doing breakfast and did not tell me. <laughs> no one likes a tattletale. Wasn't tattletaling. I was literally telling them off in the group chat. I didn't run to my boss. I literally just told the staff off. For it being unacceptable. Not telling on anyone. Just telling them. The people who did it. <laughs> telling them off. And trust me, the way I acted is a hell of a not lot nicer than the way the other person who works there acts. Because the other person used to run it. She used to run it. And uh, when she retired, the... The old manager, now he, he sold it, so the pub's been taken over by, like, a big corporation. But um, he actually asked her to come back and uh, clean. And so, yeah, that was a little bit intense because she has very, very high standards and very much treats the pub as if she still runs it and kind of owns it. Um, so people do not like her at all. To my understanding, the more Gala and Townstorm co uh, coins you have in your Gala wallet and the more NFTs you have on your base, the more Townstar coin you get after completely completing the daily challenges. That's cool. I had to, well, I didn't have to. I moved a lot more of my expensive Gala stuff over to my hardware wallet. I really hope that Gala have some form of way for you to have stuff in your, your Gala wallet. 
um, in their hardware wallet and it be usable to play with or they have their own wallet. I don't know how they can do it, but I hope they have something to implement for that to be a possibility. I saw a video where a guy is making around 100 a day with it, with the, with the, okay, so I'll cover it, don't worry about it. Um, what metaverse platforms are you optimi uh, optimistic about? Sandbox, mostly. Sandbox is the only one I really deal with, per se. I haven't really look looked into Decentraland. Um, I'd say another metaverse one I've kind of looked into is uh, Upland. But there's no way currently to cash out your UPX to Fiat. So I wouldn't say look into that unless you just want to dabble a little bit. All right. Uh, how long does this animation... Oh, right. That is... Wait, this is the last one to move. Okay, we can probably make this a little bit... Okay, right, right there. All right, I'm going to need to finish, like, real soon. Uh, right, but yeah, how are we all doing? It's basically just for hangs and events, in your opinion. Yeah, see, yeah, I've not, I, I've seen, like, what people have done, and it looks kind of cool, like, people's houses and stuff that they've got. I really like that, it seems... It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Second Life, but not Second Life, if you get what I mean. I I, I, I wish I got into Second Life when it was like a really big thing, because that's when I looked into getting into it, but I didn't know enough back then. Like, I really didn't know. All right, let's just have a little look at this. Okay, some things are happening a little bit too quickly. Like that popping up, yeah. So that going up, that all of that animation, all of this one's animation is just horrific. Probably have it not coming up as high. And if we take that one out and just have it go that way and then it kind of goes up. It still for a little bit. Uh, don't see the attraction on on what on Decentraland. Is has good NFTs on his base, which gets him a lot of town store town star coin per day challenges. Okay, fair enough. I should really look into that more. Okay. That. see what the stash posted uplift world uh nft and date uh on the what oh wait is oh i'm not talking about uplift world i'm talking about up upland uplift world's different
Right, I oh, I've given you I've given you a little bit of time. Right. Now for my favorite bit. I like doing these little sparks that come out. So, I'm going to get it go to about there. And I like doing the sparks cuz they're like probably the easiest things to animate. So, it's going to out like here so it's gonna appear and then gonna like rotate it gonna go down and we're gonna rotate it again and there we go There we go, paste, there, copy, so it sits, and then it'll just sort of like slide it in. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, how has the, oh wait, uh, what? Boris, do you want to, oh wait, how has the, that Olympus Dow be, been going? I heard there's huge returns on Uniswap. I don't know. I've not looked into that. Oh, there we go. Hamilton mentioned it. Dow so early on Sandbox and NFTs are going to blow up too. Uh, what's next? NFT drop mint. I'm next looking out for, I'm not too sure. So I'm like super busy <laughs> with doing all of this stuff and taking like freelance work that I've not had that much time to look into games. I'm always looking for other people to suggest games for me to look into. I'm not keen on profile picture things. I did recently get a Zen ape. I was in the whitelist, so I did manage to get a Zen ape, um, which is gonna go like kind of part of the Cyber Kongs. I think it's like, it's just, like it sort of ties into that community. So I got that. And I also got a Guppy Gang profile picture NFT, uh, which does have utility. So those Guppy Gangs, they give you like tickets for um, getting like special prizes. And they're like a, basically if you own a Guppy Gang, you're always gonna have like alpha access to their their games under that, um, under that gaming brand title. What are they called? Um, like they're doing Untamed Isles, so definitely look at Untamed Isles. Really, really cool. It's by a New Zealand uh, group. It's by a publisher. What is their thing called? How can I not remember what their their company is? What's the What's the company? How have I forgot? Does anybody remember the company name? Someone please tell me you remember the company name. The Guppy Gangs and I'm ta Oh, Fat Loot. Is it Fat Loot? I think it's Fat Loot. Fat Loot gaming title. So you'll get like, you'll have alpha access if you own a Guppy. What are you going to do with this asset? Um, so, yeah, so this asset is going to go in the tavern in the game that we're creating. I am also... Let me know what you think of this idea. So, for you guys that have been here for a lot of it and have seen me create a lot of this stuff, and I know I haven't done the Game Maker videos for a while, and we will get back into uh, building up the game that we're creating... Do you like the idea that I will create a limited NFT, whether that's Helga Lena, for the OGs that have been here, will know that Helga Lena is one of the tavern people we, meet, we made. She's like a goblin turned good that is now in the tavern, or ogre, whatever. She's a, she's a good goblin. Uh, her name's Helga Lena. But like either minting her and having her up for sale where i will give people that have been that are in my streams like i want to say like whitelist but like maybe 
a private sale i don't know something like that where you will be like so she will act like the key to my game or like one of the one of these assets will act like a key to my game that you know if you own her you'll be able to play the game for free is the creator fund gonna reopen after january 15th do not ask me i don't know i'm not in charge of that at all i apologize anyone got an art punk yeah earning passive solana with yours oh i didn't know that was a thing no but yeah what do you guys think of like a limited asset that you can earn like that you'd be able to not earn from that you'd be able to unlock my games with like that that would be one that comes like that she'd be able to unlock all of all of my games or all under like that like tavern title i like access based nfts okay that's cool I, I do as well. I like that idea. I prefer that than like charging you guys to like play my game. I'll probably put like a fee for people that don't own the access one, but like if you if you have it, then you'll be able to get like, you know, access to more of the games. Like it'll unlock all of them. like if i do so what will be possible is so the main game is going to be like a part of it there's going to be like a main quest with it and everything and that's going to be like the main game and then i'm going to make like additional sort of like second stories to it so you can play you can play it and it'll be fine and you'll get an idea that it'll be like a a full game but there'll be like more story progression for you to understand there'll still be like a level of mystery at the end where you you still would feel like you want to continue the story further but you still get like the feels of like yay i've played this this has given me f like hours of you know playtime where is changing voxel size why where is changing voxel size function gone uh what do you mean by voxel size function if you want to like the size of a voxel is the size of a voxel you can't change how big a voxel is uh oh i don't really uh, i've just uh let me just delete that like if i go into this like this is two voxels wide i can't then change this one voxel into three voxels like it one voxel will always just be one voxel if you want to know how to make the grid bigger then you just expand it here you you make it from two y you know to five and then you'll select your color and extend it like that but one voxel will always be one voxel hey right guys i feel like i've given you a fair amount i need to work on the on this a little bit um to get this finished i do want to have this fire finished for thursday um and we'll be on thursday we'll should i should i do the hub first no we'll do we'll do some assets on thursday i'll let you guys choose what we do right what asset we're gonna want it so it's two hours on thursday you're going to want it to be something that's not going to take up the whole time because we're going to do we're going to go play in the hub as well so i feel like maybe half and a half one hour in vox edit one hour in the hub so maybe we could make some trees that would be fairly easy we could make a start on making an ogre king so yeah do you guys get to choose do you want so i can do a tree 
we could start on the ogre king i would probably get most of him done in an hour we could do a shelf could do a dining table that would be super easy for me to do in an hour as well i could definitely do a dining table in an hour a floor prior okay right So yeah, someone choose. Someone choose before I go. Let's, let's do... And let me show off my jumper again. Look at my awesome jumper. It's, it's all, it's the Eevee Lucians pulling Father Christmas's sleigh. Ogre King, King sounds cool. Okay, so we'll work on the Ogre King. Also right at the end of the stream. A green screen moved. Right, do you, oh wait, it's that side. There we go. Totally can't tell. Also, just going to show off my Charmander. It's super fluffy. And he's sleepy. Like, I see you. Right, anyway, we're, gonna, we're finishing. This is the end of the stream. Right, is there any questions you guys want answered? Throw your questions to me for the last two minutes. And I have no water left, so I'm just going to pretend I'm drinking. Because I'm cool. But uh, <laughs> this brilliant idea with the evolutions. It's really cool, isn't it? And it's a really comfy one as well. It's it's really nice and comfy. I always get worried when when I get like stuff like this off of sites so where it's like, is it going to turn out all right? And I mean, the picture is a little. It looks it looks quite faded, but it works. It makes it look a little bit more vintagey, and I like that. But. Does nobody have questions? No questions. No questions? None. None whatsoever. Okay, right, we're gonna finish. Uh, check your Insta. Can I check it now? Did you send it to me on Instagram? I'm so less likely to see your Instagram. What's your Instagram? Do you mean Twitter? What's your, is, is your name just your name on Instagram? Oh, look, Voxel Wheelit. I'm guessing that's you. Uh, oh, these are cool. I like that. Also, I love, I've seen that. That one? I've seen that somewhere. Have you got that published? you did a bet right i've done a weapon thing just like that like literally just like that but i have different weapons in mine than just swords oh i like your your blacksmith anvil i also have a blacksmith anvil mine's better I would, so one thing I would know is um, if you've got an idea, just double check it's not on the marketplace already because then you risk people. Your, uh, your tanning rack is absolutely brilliant. I have, I'd say maybe add a few different like patches on the tanning rack. Love the cheese on there on your, on your simple tavern table. Your cups are all right. I like the bench. Your snowman is cool. What's on alluvium? Um, I hope it's good. Love that. I've done some similar stuff to that as well. Love the scales. The scales are really, really good. Uh, I'm a bit, like, I'm wondering about the size because going off of the little potion, like, the little test tube bottles, 
your book may be too big, but it's nothing too much to worry about. I think you've done a pretty good job. I don't see, are you in the creative fund? I don't see why you wouldn't. And that's really good. The animation on that, I like that. Um, I would say, I'd say if you're making animations like that, make sure you have like an idle one and maybe like an empty one. One where it's idle with the fire, one with the fire, idle with no fire, empty with no fire, um, stuff like that. All right, so Instagram is so don't. I love Instagram. I want to post more to my Instagram, but like none of you guys follow me on there. How many faces would you say is okay for a weapon? I mean, you've got a maximum of 5,000 faces that you can have. Um, I wouldn't worry too much. You can make super detailed stuff. It shouldn't be an issue. Just don't do more than 5,000 faces. Well, honestly, I wouldn't do more than like probably 2,000 for a weapon, but you get away with it um alluvium i i like i don't mind auto bat battlers i like team fight tactics it looks very similar to that i i stand behind the fact that before they showed a lot of their auto battler bit they were just showing sort of like animated things that weren't actually gameplay I want to still see more. I don't know if they've released any more. I've not looked into it. They could have released more. I want to see more gameplay that isn't the auto battler because they're saying that we can explore the worlds and stuff like that in Alluvium. I want to see more of that. I want to see more of that. I feel like they they stated that they were going to have this game ready by the end of this year which was a very big thing to say and i don't think they're going to have a game for us at the end of this year and that's fair enough i'd rather it take longer than rush something but i really do hope they can deliver what they want to deliver to us and i think it could be good it looks good it looks really visually nice and a lot of the time as much as i say visuals don't always matter they can they can matter and if they've got really really good visuals and they are giving a half decent gameplay then it can do well how do you toggle to view uh to uh the view to see faces if you're in the modeler you can't see the faces it's only in the animator you'll see the faces in the top corner uh there is more in-game footage is there how like actual not just them walking about like more actual more in-game footage than the last load of footage they've done i'll look into it um i hope it's going to be good i i am a lot more happy with it since seeing some more of the video i was fairly skeptical about what they were going to be giving us um a little while ago before the whatever big video it was that i saw i was fairly happy with that would want to see more gameplay if there is more i'll go and look for it uh purely because i've not had enough time to invest in playing a lot of these games or looking into them i've tried not to look too much into them because <laughs> i don't have the time but i will go and do a little bit more research because that's definitely something thanks for checking out my page and giving you feedback no problem your stuff's really good i don't see why you wouldn't get into the creator fund um but yeah, I'll check that out. Thanks for letting me know there's more there's more in-game footage to check out. But um hopefully the gameplay is there because I've said so many times if a game ends up being super, super boring, then I'm not going to end up wanting to play eventually. I'll probably play it for a little while if there's the earn ability, but after a while, if it's too boring, I won't play it. I don't think Alluvium's going to be boring. I think it's going to be good, and I hope it's going to be good. Much like I really, really hope Mirandus is going to be good. Um, sandbox, I feel like that is going to be very good. I see a very bright future for the Sandbox, and that's not just me being part of it and all of that. I really do see this being a very, very big thing. Um, so yeah, get in on it. Uh, Axie Infinity... Well, I feel like once land gameplay and battle version two, we're going to see a big uplift in that. 
Um, SLP, I do feel, is a little bit undervalued right now. I think that roughly anywhere between six cents to ten cents should be the price that SLP should be, personally speaking. Seeing it at three to four cents, I'm not too worried. We're just in a low right now. I think once Battle Version 2 comes in effect and land gameplay, land gameplay is going to be the big changer, um, personally. Breaking news, Uni enters the sandbox. Does it? Wait, what? Did they just do that now? Has that just been announced? Oh yeah, look at that! Wait, you guys can't see because I've gone to this this thing. For a second. Look at that! Uniquely. How do you say it? I always say uniquely. Do you know what? I always call it Uniqlo. It's not Uniqlo, is it? It's uniquely. Right? That's cool. I'm not surprised. To be honest, I'm not surprised though. I saw this being a possible, um, a possible partnership, just because I'd been seeing. Uh, I've been looking at it and saying their name wrong this entire time. So I'm not. I'm not surprised that that this has happened. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, you said it right. Which one, though? Because I was calling it Uniqlo. It's not Uniqlo, is it? It's Uniquely. I was called... Wait. Is it Uniqlo? Is it Uniqlo? Who is Uniquely? They do, like, uh, clo uh, What's the best way I can... So, they do clothing where if you've got an NFT, you can, like, burn that NFT and have it made into, like, a shirt or something, and it will have its own, like, barcode, and the shirt is basically an NFT in itself. Um, like, and, like, Kongs do things as well with it. Uniquely. Yeah, it's Uniquely. I was calling it Uniqlo. Uniqlo, I was calling it, so I've said uniquely and uniquely is the correct one. Okay, right, we're there. I'm, I'm on it now. Okay, all right, this, this ending has, has gone on long enough. NFT cloves, there you go, yeah, NFT cloves, there we go, Dave said it better than I did. NFT cloves, basically. But I am right in the fact that, like, you can, like, create an NFT and then burn it and have it made into, like, a t-shirt some things look really cool cyber kongs have like a partnership with them i think bryson does as well uh crypto stash i think does too i want my own should i do my uh, what would it be and you guys can't be like oh make it blue head what's gonna happen when i get rid of my blue hair are you guys gonna let me get and i mean it's kind of green right now but it looks blue on here what's gonna happen when i'm like yeah guys i'm just gonna go back to being a brunette are you going to let me? Is that going to be something I'm allowed to do? I <laughs> already have fashion shows in Roblox with big names. Do they? Do they? Wait, no. <laughs> Emma, uh, Emma, are you just like, no, you can't, you can't change your hair? Like, no. You, you're going to stop me changing my hair? It's like, you can't do it! Because I was thinking of doing my hair like a peach type color. It, is that okay? Can I dye my hair peach? Do you think that'll look good on me? Can I go peach? But like for, for like spring. For spring. I'm just, I have to stay blue. <laughs> But like people, like especially on Twitch, people like post like that, that like meme sticker of that blue haired person doing like that face. And they're like, is this you? It's like, no, I don't know who that is. Should I be, should I be insulted or complimented? I don't know. <laughs> 
but anyway we we are finishing this this is ending right now we're we're ending this is the end of the stream i'm being serious right now we're all going to say goodbye and i will see you on thursday for a sand for vox edit slash the game hub i will be doing a stream tomorrow axie infinity and hopefully Miranda's. if we get into it i'll try Miranda's first if we can't get into Miranda's. we'll do axie infinity but otherwise this this is goodbye i appreciate all you guys thank you so much i hope you have had a good time i hope you've learned a lot about the fact that i really really like japanese toilets as always <laughs> uh follow roblox on twitter and check their latest tweets i am not following roblox i get enough talk about roblox i don't want to follow them um anyway um don't forget to like and subscribe if you're anywhere like if you're on youtube subscribe if you're wherever you are and as always have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the metaverse goodbye